Danny. Nick. Listen, I'm wealthy, right? <laughs> okay. Right. I, like, <laughs> I'd, I'd like to say I have money. Okay. Um, I, I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good for myself. Yeah. If ever at some point in my life I'm like, you know what I want to do? Mm -hmm. A metal tube. A man, a oh, game controller, uh, and two miles under the ocean. I need you to either <laughs> empty my bank account. Yeah. Like, just be like, all right, you know what? That's actually, we built that into a clause that we yeah. talk as anonymous. Yeah. Uh, if you ever feel the need to get into a coffin that is yeah. under 6,000 bars of pressure, uh, <laughs> all of your money is redirected to either my dogs, you, yeah. or Dorothy, um, or or just slap me silly. I can't believe we're covering this immediately. We don't need to. <laughs> listen, we don't need to cover it. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, because, like, listen, yeah. who knows? Like, I, I. So timeless. Well, I don't know, because, like, you need to get you need to get dumb like i i, I think the more money yeah. you have to be smart to get money right yeah. but not like really smart like there's plenty sometimes of, you just have to exist yeah there's plenty yeah, of yeah. very dumb people who have money yeah. so like but my thing is like if i don't know if money makes you stupid that's yeah. my thing so i think at a, at a certain level of money i i think money definitely drops your like ambitions yeah or iq i think i think it's easier to just impulse do things mm -hmm. for example you just got a dog yeah. after thinking about it for a week and you know what he's the best boy so yeah and, that's actually that's what our cold opening probably should be about <laughs> and he's great but no i mean like like I used to back when I was like working at a grocery store mm -hmm. in like college You're and just, just like yoink. scrounging yoink a couple dollars out of the till. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would do. Like, that's just what... going to my local church and taking yes. out oh, of the, yeah. well, oh, taking well, out of the, well, you tell me I don't have security at this church <laughs> yeah, collection for me. Thank you yeah, very much. Yeah, I'm collecting. Yeah, exactly. Um, but Here's like my tithes, tibs, <laughs> yeah. tit, 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 I don't know how I you say know. it. I don't know. I can't yeah. yes and you on this. <laughs> um, but like back when I was scrounging for money more mm. so, um, it I would like mull over purchases for like weeks. Oh yeah. For like no, for like a DLC on a video game. It's I would like five ninety nine. You're like can't do it. Well, it's, can't swing it. It's so funny. Do you ever get this where it's like I'll mull over like a ten dollar DLC for weeks, but like. If we're just out and about, I'll get like Burger King, which is like 20 bucks. Like it's nothing. Uh, dude, how do you spend 20? What are you buying? <laughs> you get a double bacon king. You get you what? get a I, soda. Okay, dude, you get listen, fries. I feel like this is like what I sound like when I talk about Fast and Furious. What in the what sweet fuck about? is a double bur? Is that double burger or double bacon or double both? It's a double burger, two patties, okay. bacon, mayo, That's ketchup if you'd like. Four dollars. Four dollars? How much is a, How much is a hamburger? It's like 20 bucks in all. You get fries, medium fries, medium drink. Do you know what you could get for twenty dollars, Daniel? What? Twenty. Tw I, you can go to Chipotle. DLC for a video game. You, that's you, my point. Yeah, you could get. You could get. I don't know a skin. You could get something in Diablo Four. You could get like <laughs> half of the operators in Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> what? Twenty dollars? That's insane. What do you, you eat at such luxury, ridiculous places? But that's, but that's fine. I go to Lowry's. <laughs> I spend five hundred dollars. Fucking a right. I drank a, a thirteen-year-old wine. I had a. I had a porterhouse steak with some like Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, had, I had an aperitif drink. I had a dessert martini. I, of course, I'm spending five hundred dollars. I don't know there. most of the things you're saying. An aperitif. An aperitif is a, it's a, it's like a either it's usually a sour drink that you drink before you eat okay. because your body has a chemical reaction that you produce saliva and try to digest things. If they're sour, it's a, it's a response to poison. It's kind of fun. I'll do ten minutes on it if you, if you're curious. Real quick, mm -hmm. do you hear absolute fucking snorapalooza 2023 going on right so, now? This is actually probably should have been our cold opening. Um, so. So yes, a couple a couple of days ago, um, as in as in yesterday, uh, mm -hmm. yesterday is a couple of days ago. It's Thursday. This was Wednesday. Yeah. Me and Dorothy. Well, so this last weekend we went to the uh, Blank Humane Society, the town where I yeah. live. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the town of Blank, California. Yeah, inside yeah, of yeah. Blank, California, exactly. Uh, and we they do like visiting hours, and so we walked around doing visiting hours. Saw. Oh, they had a like hundred dogs, dude. Like a hundred dogs. It was mm -hmm. devastating. A lot of them, great boys and girls. A lot of them, not so great boys and girls. You know, yeah. they're dogs in, in kennels. They're yeah. not like at, in their best. Yeah, like, they're stray dogs. Adopt any dog. It's going to be a way better dog once you get it. But uh, we get all the way to the back. And there is this brindled pit bull, emaciated. He's been there yeah. four days, got hit by a car, then tied to a pole so he wouldn't wander into the street anymore. He's covered in scabs, starts barking at me and Dorothy when we get to, to like his cage. And, yeah. like, oh. and I'm like, here, let me give him a treat. So give him a treat. I've never seen a switch up crazier. She just it, like, gives him a treat, lights yeah. up, comes right to the cage, looking at us sitting, like waiting for more treats, like watching me and Dorothy as we walk, because we walked the entire place like four times. Yeah. We're like, all right, we set up an adoption appointment and because he, he still had his balls because straight dog, city dog. Yeah, yeah. Um, And we're like, that's probably going to take what, two, three months to get his balls cut off. 
we come in on Wednesday. He's had his <laughs> balls. Day. He's had his balls off for three days. Yeah. We we got it's, him, we it's got a him, walk in neuter. Yeah. We, <laughs> we caught him one day before the end of his testicles, before yeah. the end of his reign. Uh, so I have a new dog. His name is Wagyu. I have a bunch of TikToks about it. I'm not going to pick him up right now uh, because him and Neutron are both asleep on the bed, and I they, would. They are snoring up a storm. Yeah, also farting up a storm. Yeah, it getting, is snoozing to a palooza. Yeah, over getting here. Uh, getting some anal gland I, expression here. I like the idea that like because you mentioned that he got hit by a car. Mm -hmm. You think anyone has ever been like driving to the kennel with their wife and was like, oh bo boy, oh boy, I can't wait for us to get a go, ah! and then like boom, smacks into a dog. They wait for like the ambulance to pick it up, mm -hmm. come in the next day, and then like there's just this dog in like a comical full body cast, and they're like, we'll take that one. <laughs> That's, you know what? that one uh that one looks good actually. I like his vibe. They're like he cannot move. <laughs> <laughs> that one's really speaking to me. Yeah. So. Every bone in his body has been shattered. Yeah, th uh, this dog's still under investigation. We'll yeah. take it. We'll, we'll take it. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Just just nix yeah. it as the now new owner of the dog. Don't yeah, worry about kill it. Kill that investigation. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. We're cool with it. Yeah. It's a, sir, is that blood on the front of your car? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's actually... Wait, we found a Mercedes emblem they like, in him. They You're like, missing one. They, like, grab the dog and, like, slide him into the, like, bump <laughs> in your hood. Like, like, he's an Indiana Jones relic, <laughs> like, sliding into a wall. <laughs> I don't think you are going to get this dog. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, his name's Wagyu. He's incredible. Uh, the reason his name is Wagyu is because his ID number, he didn't have a name. Uh, they named him Bolton, which was stupid, stupid name. If you're named Jesus Bolton, you should feel bad. No, I'm kidding. Um, but his ID number was like A5, uh, blah, 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 blah. So I was like, I called him A5, and Dorothy was like, Wagyu. And I, Wag is in the name, so it's funny. So you told me this. Mm -hmm. Is A5 like the serial no, number I, of, uh, of Wagyu beef? I, like, I, I don't, I, the re I don't get I, the connection. I'm so, I don't even know why I thought you would understand this. <laughs> Chill as, out. As, as we literally, me and Danny had a conversation before this where Danny was like, what do you mean? You know, like bologna and mayonnaise sandwiches. <laughs> and I was. Nick was railing on me because my sandwich of choice, you get some bread, you get some Italian bread, maybe potato bread. Potato wow. bread's good. Mm -hmm. Get two slices of bologna. We, whoa. Yeah, Rogan's finest. Wow, you must you must really be, the things are good over two in the Mata corner. I'm, I'm a growing boy. You yeah. get two slices of bologna. One's too thin, three's way too much. That's just, that's, that's spam at that, that point. Yeah, that's just, you might as well take a big bite out of a leg of a pig. Yeah, disgusting. Um, three, two slices of bologna, mm -hmm. get some mayo on there, you get another slice of bread. Mm -hmm. That's that's, the, that's, that's it the right there. Sandwich. And I called him a depression era dust bowl farmer yeah. because he was like, "Oh, have you heard about <laughs> this brand new invention, mayo? It's my, delicious. My new bologna sandwich. It's bologna. They're not <laughs> sure what makes out of it, but sure, it's good. It's good. I mean, I eat spam regularly. Yeah, so that's disgusting. I had spam so yesterday. What is, what is wagyu beef like? It's it's, it's a five. Number? A five is like the grade of wagyu. It's like a five wagyu beef. So it's a one because I know that's a one is a sauce i don't i don't know i don't know how it works danny okay i don't know i just, I just know i like the finer you things. named your dog after it i would hope so well, also because he's got marbling because he's brindled uh -huh. you get it, it yeah. it's a joke that works on a dozen it, different it's a life. finer class also joke. it wasn't me it was dorothy so god don't, take it up with her don't take a don't take a trip to the bottom of the ocean anytime soon no one will sympathize I, listen, no, you'll no, find no, no sympathy. Legitimately, if I'm if I'm like, oh, take me to the, how much is it? A quarter million? Yeah, sure, why not? I'll go. On, I'll go on an eight hour fucking trip in a fart tube, <laughs> two miles. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Make fun of me. Dance on my grave, dude. Are you kidding me? You know what I can buy for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars? A fucking Lamborghini. I would much rather. I, I would I'd rather if I'm looking to why, die. Why would you want an above surface vessel when if you could be looking, under? If under I was looking the to surface. die for a quarter million dollars, yeah. you know what I'm doing? I'm fucking buying a Lamborghini. I'm renting a cargo plane. I'm driving the Lamborghini off the edge like it's Fast and Furious, and hoping I land and the airbag save me. Yeah. But they're not gonna. And in either circumstances, if you do either of those stupid fucking things, nobody should feel sympathy <laughs> for you. And so I am Nicholas Connor, also known as NC Hammer Twenty Three or the Weeb Commander, uh, and I am joined here. As uh, always, by my best friend and now co-owner of Wagyu. Yeah, uh, Danny Mata. Yeah, co-investor of <clears throat> Wagyu Beef. Yeah, and if anybody wants to uh, invest, you know, we're taking investments yeah. currently. Uh, yeah. He is 75 pounds. We think we can get him to 100 by the end of the year. So Absolutely. Oh, this yeah. dog needs it. <laughs> we'll, put, we'll put some big LBs on yeah. this puppy. We're going we're gonna to be the, we're going to start a company, the Fat Pitbull Company, and that's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be operated and owned by this guy. So that's hype. a lot happened this week. Yeah. A lot happened this Sorry, week. Sorry, real quick. Can I just do a bit? Yep. 
Bring on down your pit bulls to fat pit and sons pit bull fattery. You just, you just bring, bring us your pit bulls. We'll fatten them up. We'll get them right back to you free of charge. You have a skinny ass pit bull. Listen, come on. I got, I got lard. I got spam. I got bologna. I'm we got get... bacon. We got ham. We got pork. We got them all. Your dog's cholesterol number is going to be <laughs> one by the time I'm done with him. <laughs> he loved that. He loved that pitch. He really did. I think he's actually, he, he's been to the fattery. And yeah. I think he's, he actually escaped like a reverse fattery camp moment yeah he needs um, it so a lot happened a lot happened uh big big week for me okay uh outside of the dog okay. i accidentally secured an ad for a porn game nice. yep so and was it the furry one that no, you love Blo- I, did, Blood I got, trials I got, or whatever? I got renewed with them yeah yep uh but this one they actually there's penetrative sex Whoa. um so just got an email and like as i did by yeah. my marketing managers being like hey would you want to like want to do an ad for i'm not going to name them but they're uh-huh. like hey, you'll see it you're when it comes about out. to yeah advertise you'll for see them. it when yeah, it comes yeah. out uh they're like would you want to do an ad for so and so this mobile game yeah. and i was like sure they're paying <laughs> higher than usual and i was yeah. like yeah yeah i'll do it absolutely yeah. and then they're like cool here's the brief and i was like I was like, all right, cool. Like, we'll set up a time. Like, I'll post it on XO, like, Y and date. And so I'm reading the description that, like, tells me how to do the ad read. And they're like, blank is an 18 plus mobile game (laughs) where you, the devil king, move around and gain, like, like gain points through battles to spend on harems of women to have penetrative or non-penetrative sexual intercourse with. Apparently there's non-penetrative sexual intercourse happening. So full on porn game getting advertised. So. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, <laughs> I really don't have a lot of morals when it comes to advertising. I don't think that's a moral. Like, like it's for adults, yeah, you know. Right? Like I say, it's eighteen plus. I don't advertise for crypto. Okay. And gambling. Naira already ad- advertised for gambling. Actually, I love. I was gambling. gonna say your manager told me you advertise for gambling. Nicotine. That's the, <laughs> those are my two. Okay. Crypto and nicotine. That's what I don't you. advertise for. Yeah, I, I feel th- good about that. I feel I, like those are good lines to have. I feel like porn the it, yeah it's for adults mm-hmm. it's not like this it's not disguised as like a child's game yeah it's not like coco like, melon the game yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coco melon i'm gonna coco your melons baby jesus christ you heard it here first <laughs> i love that coco melon in like a desperate ploy yeah like, they're like we're running out of money like they're not yeah. the most watched youtube channel on earth i know an actress from coco melon i that, went to school with her that's a she bag. was sarah's roommate that's a bag dude <laughs> yeah. oh my god God, I would give up everything to be a Coco Mel. Because yeah. there's thing, it's not, uh, no disrespect for her, uh-huh. but you don't have to be a good actor or actress to work. Because it's just disagree. You're just like, <laughs> it's time to do the dandelion dance. <laughs> dandelions, <laughs> we're in the field. Like that's it. You're happy. Yeah. You're not. It's like, you're not giving Oscar worthy performances. Yeah. No child is able to register like emotion. That was just, so good. I know, right? I could do it. I could do I, it. I like saw her. It was like post graduation because I'd like seen her tons of times. Sarah's roommate or was her roommate in college and uh we like were at some post-grad event where like all the theater majors of that year were like showing off their skills maybe there were some like talent scouts there at this bar and Mm. they like I run into her like in the beginning she's like oh Danny like so great to see you you do like you're doing well right you're doing this anime stuff on YouTube and I'm like oh yeah you know like it's nothing yeah like it, it you know it's silly it's embarrassing it's this and that and I was like, yeah, no, great to see you. And then, like, she gets on, and they're like, ladies and gentlemen, introducing so-and-so, who just landed her first big-time role in the hit show Coco Melon. Jesus and you just hear, you just hear from the back of the stage, she what? <laughs> <laughs> I was hyped. I was so hyped. Is she Coco or Melon? Yeah. Which one? You did what? <laughs> <laughs> she's doing ad libs to her speech <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so um outside okay. of that um i also posted a tiktok about like who has the most wasted potential in anime and i i, I posted my first ever instagram story which was crazy either your I got, instagram story or yeah. real instagram story <laughs> like, I, got, instagram I got an story? advertiser reaching out like what are your wow. uh what are your metrics on on like how many watches do you get on stories and they're like, well, I was like fuck i've never posted one yeah. um so i posted like who has the most wasted potential in anime best answer i got kaiba kaiba, kaiba? what am i from so my, one of my old roommates reaches out and he's like like so it's like kaiba wasn't on the list it was like six pictures it was yeah. like rock lee gohan uh, a couple other people um and i was like I, uh, it's gotta be rock oh. lee right i get a dm from my old college roommate he's like kaiba 
Yeah. Imagine being a billionaire, a billionaire, and like it's just very topical right now, and dedicating your life to a card game and losing. Yeah, to, and constantly losing to a 12 year old. Just the 12 year old. Yeah, just a kid. Could you imagine if Jeff Bezos was just like mortal enemies with a 12 year old in like, in like it, Magic the Gathering and couldn't win? Is it more embarrassing that he's losing to a 12 year old or to a pharaoh from the year seven who like shouldn't know how to be this good at this fucking modern like card game? Based off of like three gods yeah. he knew. Yeah, imagine King Tut being reincarnated and being like, this Pokemon thing is pretty cool. It's, pretty, <laughs> like, it's, it's just like sweeping the yeah, circuit. It's just like, here's this easy as fuck. <laughs> yeah. And then like like Bill Gates is there with like a, like running yeah. like, running Microsoft into the ground because yeah. he can't beat fucking King Tut's reincarnation <laughs> in Pokemon. No, that's true. Kaiba's like literally like revolutionizing technology, mm -hmm. like changing society. Mother's Basement has a crazy like video on how like their society is entirely based on Kaiba's advancements in technology yeah. to beat Yugi through like holograms, through like all of this stuff. Yeah. And yet, like he's got like the best cards money can buy and create. Yeah. And then Yugi's showing up and he's like, mm, winged Karibo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, have you heard about the heart of the cards? <laughs> What do you mean? Like, like yeah. there was like uh, that being said, you there's no MC in like anime history who cheats more yeah. than Yuki. Yeah, it's disgusting for sure how much he cheats. Do you remember the episode where? Sorry, or I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I was gonna say like there was like, the whole episode where like he attacked a cliff and it like wiped <laughs> out like all of the other like the other person's like monsters. And I was like, I don't think that's how that <laughs> works. That's the epitome of walking up to their deck and just like ripping it and being like. <laughs> He used to like combine cards. Like he would like play a horse monster and then like a guy monster and uh -huh. then be like, the guy rides the horse and makes him twice as strong. Yeah. And that's just not a card. No. Or there was like a maze and like a monster. And he was like, my monster goes through the maze and now you can't hit it. Yeah. And it's like untrue. You're simply like not, not true. Simply not how the world, like the, the world works. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the episode where Kaiba threatens to kill himself if Yugi doesn't let him win? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> You Kaiba remember? was emotionally manipulating Yuki. Kaiba, they're playing and like they're on uh, like a castle tower and like Yugi's about to win. And then Kaiba like gets up on the ledge of the tower and he goes, do it, Yugi. But if you kill my blue eyes, the shockwave from the death will knock me off. And then Yugi's like... Pff. Fuck, dude, I'm just playing a card game here. Could you, like, imagine, could you imagine Jeff Bezos? <laughs> like, kill me, Yugi. Just gun to his head to a fucking yeah. crying 13-year-old. Be like, finish me off. It's, I need you to. It's like a whole ass like that, too. Like, Kai was like, do it, Yugi. Take my life. And he's like, I'm, j I'm just trying to play a game. And he's like, kill me, bitch. <laughs> he's like, I, need, I need somebody to end it, please. Oh, my God. That's wasted potential right there. That's I, though, So shout out to Peter, my old college roommate, because that is that's fucking it's spot on. It's the best one I've ever heard. Um, do you want to talk about the One Piece trailer? Oh yeah, yeah, that, that did happen. A lot huh? happened this week. Yeah, that's so pretty we wild. Had the Demon Slayer movie. Yeah, the the Demon Slayer Show. final Black Clover movie, movie and the One Piece yeah. trailer. One Piece is huge. Are you you you've been you've been getting in the trenches over it a little bit. Oh yeah, in trenches a little. Yeah, a little bit. Um. Well, so I think I had no expectations like everybody else. Nobody should have expectations for this. Here's the thing. My thought process is that this could have and should have been the single worst looking trailer in internet history. Yeah, could have been bad. This could have been the worst thing. It could have been Dragon Ball like Revol evolutions or whatever. Absolutely. Bad. Yeah. It could have been Dragon Ball evolution. Like and it all like in all respects should have been. Yeah. The fact that there are like a decent amount of people being like, this looks okay. It does. Is crazy. It, it does. looks not bad. Yeah. It looks fun. It the looks Baratier cool. set piece, Loge Town, um, even even the Going Mary herself, like yeah. all of like all of those set pieces they built look really good. Yeah. Don't exist in like an uncanny valley. Yeah. And I think artistically, like outside of building sets, they made some really good decisions. Like I think not having saw like Sanji not having curly eyebrows, like Usopp not <laughs> having a long nose. Like obviously, like a lot of the jokes Usopp down the could have had more of a nose though. But my thing yeah. is like so like, but imagine he did. It just it looks uncanny valley. Cast him as an Italian. 
You know what I mean? That'd be pretty good. <laughs> like, That'd be get, pretty good. Just get Adrian Brody as Usopp. Yeah, like, like a schnoz. But the <laughs> thing is, like, so like down the line, like yeah. when Sniper King, like, yeah. the Everett, the Sniper King, I don't know how they're going to be like, it's Sniper King because like the whole thing is his nose comes out the mask. Mm -hmm. So like, and then like there's a lot of times where like Usopp's nose just gets like snapped. Just like, <laughs> like, like anytime he gets yeah. like injured, his nose just goes like yeah. the wrong way. So I think like, They'll the, have to take some liberties. Yeah, for like, sure. So like, Uncanny Valley wise, I think they did a good yeah. job of avoiding that. Outside of that, like, I don't know. I think the actor portrayed, like, the only, the grievance I have with it. Like, how did you feel about Buggy? About Buggy? Yeah. Buggy's hype. I've seen people not loving Buggy. Well, so there's a weird thing in the One Piece community where everyone's like, Buggy's hot. Like, it's like a, it's like a meme. Uh, but at the same time, like, when Buggy lets his hair down, he is kind of hot. Like, but. Yeah. They, this Buggy doesn't look not hot. Though his teeth are whack for sure, he looks like Stanley Tucci. We do and Stanley Tucci's hot. He looks like Stanley Tucci to me what? in clown makeup. I oh, first off, it's very hard for me in, to envision Stanley Tucci. Stanley Tucci is the epitome of female gaze. So yeah. good job on that. Yes, I look at you. What yeah. a, what a what an ally. I know women. Yeah, that is like <laughs> Stanley Tucci is like that. Like that man. We're always like, oh, you probably like Henry Cavill. They're like, I like Stanley Tucci yeah. and. I can't even think of another example. Like there just, aren't. Yeah. yeah. What, what's the guy who plays Ben in Parks and Rec? You know, it's like something like that. <laughs> okay. Like it's like the female gaze is like so different from yeah. like what a man would think a woman would have found attractive. Outside of that, I think he's scary yeah. in the early days. It's what he's supposed to be. I like that. I love that he's scary. Yeah. He's a psychotic clown with knives mm -hmm. who dismembers himself. Yeah. That's scary. That's inherently That's terrifying. It's it with weirder superpowers. Yeah. Like, it's just like, he is like, I mean, like, yeah, he's like kind of like silly. Yeah. Because he's a clown and he's like, I'm going to use the buggy ball and destroy everything. But like, I don't mind them paneling him like closer to scary. Well, here's what's good about it too, right? Is that buggy being scary helps the plot so much because like Luffy's whole shtick at least in the beginning, mm -hmm. is that, like, you have all these intimidating pirates who've spent, like, years building a reputation, being yeah. these, like, crazy badass guys, and then Luffy, this fucking cartoon character, yeah. comes bumbling in and ruining their whole shit. Like, the entire the entire show starts with him popping out on Alveda's ship and yeah. just, like, just wrecking shit for no reason. I think if you introduce Buggy, because, like, I don't think we need to get through all of the, like, nothing beginning pirates See, like that's, that's the thing though so like they are doing axan morgan axan yeah, morgan is yeah. gonna exist yeah. and like the, i think it should be him and buggy like i don't think we need to fill it with like who's like the fat the, like oh the fat princess pirate or whatever the fat, oh alvita yeah yeah, alvita. yeah yeah alvita the one with the 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 who the, slims down the yeah but she has because she has the soap soap no yeah she has like the slip slip fruit. slip slip fruit and yeah, even yeah. the fat slips off or something yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. ridiculous so but <laughs> alvita and buggy are intertwined Okay. They like coexist in the story now. Yeah. Like they like they like I think yeah, they both captain. Yeah, they yeah, both yeah. like captain the same ship or some shit like that. Yeah, After yeah. like uh impel down, I think they're together. Uh -huh. Um but I think well so we are but we are getting Alvita. Okay. So in the in Is that the, the heart? Yeah, like she's yeah, yeah, she's like okay, the one yeah. with the heart. Like, but yeah. that's because the show starts on that ship. Like God, he pops yeah, yeah. out of a barrel. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah, like, yeah, you know, he like gets his own little yeah. ship and all that. I think the set pieces look cool. I think everybody looks I think the casting is cool. Like I I'm fine with all of the castings. I think Luffy looks great. Luffy looks good. Yeah. I think making his scar look more realistic was cool. Uh, Him having five o'clock shadow is tough. But it's weird. It's strange, uh, but I like that he's older. Yeah. Zoro, I like his casting. And I like I've seen him in the Rurouni Kenshin movies. Like his sword play is like legit. Yeah. I don't like how muted uh, from what I've seen. Like obviously there's a lot more to the show. Yeah. But like Zoro's like Zoro's demeanor is very muted. It's very like low down. But, like, he's playing almost like, I don't give a shit. Zoro gives a lot of shits. There's one line in the trailer mm -hmm. that everyone has been like, uh-oh. Yeah. Where it's, like, uh, Zoro and Nami going, we're not a crew. Yeah, like, he's like, I don't work for you or as, something. Yeah, yeah, As a line, that's fine. But both of them came off as, like, so bored. Yeah. And, like, so acty. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, I think all the casting's great. I don't. It's not even a casting thing. Nami's tough. Well, I think any one piece woman is going to be I tough. Think, like they don't have organs. I think they need to first off her shirt's ridiculous because she's like wearing a remember. Hollister top. Like she, yeah, okay, yeah. She, she's wearing like an Abercrombie and Fitch shirt and mm -hmm. everyone else is in pirate shit. Gotcha. But that's Oda's fault. Yeah, because he just like yeah, just like puts her in like khakis. Yeah. Yeah. Like get a redhead actress. Mm -hmm. Her hair looks so bad. It's just like 
Am it's, I forgetting what her hair looks it's like? It's like this grapefruit color. Like her roots are brown. Get gotcha. a redhead. Get a, get a redheaded woman. Mm-hmm. It looks ridiculous. Like she looks like she's cosplaying, which is like impressive because Zoro, who has green hair, I think oh, looks you're pretty right. good. She does have, she has brown roots. Yeah, I think Zoro. Interesting. Comes off way better despite having green hair and being in this like pirate samurai outfit yeah and i mean even obviously zoro does have like like black roots because of the fade there and like obviously zoro doesn't have black roots in the anime but like i don't know i yeah i mean that's the thing is like inherently everybody like she has the most regular outfits yeah like that's her thing like she so that's her in the beginning with the white and the blue and like that's just her outfit in the beginning and it's like you're right it's absolutely oda's fault for just being like (laughs) women wear clothes like not making her like piratey at all i thought like usopp's outfit was cool um sanji looks good I, i have no problems with any of the castings really it's just like I love to see people's reaction to Buggy and like how obs- like viscerally upset everyone's like, why isn't he hot? I think him being scary is going to help like make Luffy. I think a scary him, if we have him be like really intimidating in like mm. his introduction and have like, I think that like super close up angle is him like shaking down another like nothing pirate. Crew. Probably. I think that's what that is. I think they're going to make him this really intimidating guy. And then when he comes up against Luffy, it's going to be this great showcase of Luffy just like just fucking ruining his self-esteem. Yeah. Like, I think it'll be awesome. And what's crazy, though, is like we're, I think we're getting eight episodes, right? It's like oh, eight yeah. episodes. And God, those, they got to fucking well, make some make up some time. Thing. In the eight episodes, <laughs> they're going to the Baratier. They're going to like they have Nami, yeah. which is like the entire that's that's the entire fish man or no, it's um it's not Fishman Island. Park. Arlong Park, which is a long arc. It's Here's 30 episodes. I don't think they'll do Arlong in season one i think here's what i think the breakdown of the season is gonna be okay i think episode one you get luffy and maybe zoro i think you could pick up zoro in episode yeah i mean that happens in like the the second or so episode he's the first strat episode one's zoro and luffy i don't remember how nami joins so zoro and luffy um just like steals something from them right yeah they you're right yeah i don't know is nami second or third She's set third. She's, she's third. She's after Zoro. Yeah, she is so well. Yeah, I mean, like, say, like, yeah, okay. I don't remember. Yeah, I think she steals from something. From so, them. so you get Nami in like her own episode, and then that is like, I think when you get Nami, that's episode two, and it's yeah. like easing us into things. They fight someone probably. I think Usopp's his own episode because we didn't see Arlong. I don't think. No, Arlong's definitely not in it. There's no way. You think they just skip Fishman I, because of like the I, CGI nightmare that would be? No, I think that's season two because San- I think Sanji is gonna be like four episodes. But how do they get Nami without doing Arlong? Like, are they just gonna be like, she's oh, they- after Arlong is after Sanji. How long is after? So they You're get, right. They go so, back. Yeah. So yeah, they yeah. get Nami. Mm-hmm. Then they go and do stuff with Sanji. She steals their ship while they're on Sanji's ship. Man, she steals the so Mary. So long. You're right. Yeah. She steals a the Mary. Then it's Arlong Park. Gotcha. So I think first four episodes, you get everybody. You do Buggy probably. Mm-hmm. And then I think episodes like five, six, seven, eight is Sanji and Zeph and like that whole uh-huh. thing. But they have with... to do Usopp as well. What's crazy yeah, is yeah, they true. have the Mary, right? Yeah. So like, it's like they have to, they get the Mary from Usopp, yeah. specifically like Usopp's love interest. And yeah. then there's the whole scene where they all put their feet on the barrel, yeah. which is when they go to the, the Grand Line. That's so like... in eight episodes, they're getting to the Grand Line. They're done with East Blue because the first thing they do is Chopper. Chopper's on a winter island in the Grand, like, because the whole thing is like, wow, like the Grand Line has such weird temperature fluctuations and yeah. then winter yeah, island. It's winter, yeah. And then it's Alabasta yeah, and then yeah, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, water seven or something i don't know i think they just do the foot thing early there's no way they just drop our long park or like i said get it done in an episode i mean they're, they're probably gonna be what 45 there, minute episodes there's no way we wouldn't get a shot of our long in this there I, they have to that what i think he, i'll look up our long casting i think that i think he probably did get casted that's gonna be the biggest test of uncanny valley for me though because like that's you're not doing that in practical yeah you're not doing all of the fishmen in practical yeah um, it's coming in. I don't. I'm gonna leave the door open. Okay. I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry if our in... sound is a little bit less full today. Unfortunately, uh, Nick has acquired a puppy that has anxiety. Oh, there is an Arlong actor. There is an Arlong actor. I guess. So. Which means I. I mean, if there's an Arlong actor, that means we got to see him. If even in like a little bit. Yeah. Man, getting wow. getting Arlong Bratier 
Um, that's tough. That's I, a I think lot. they're probably just. I think. I think honestly, what they're gonna do is just axe Usopp's. Because Usopp's backstory is Oh, we don't fine. need the cat guy. We don't need, we don't need the onion and he's, onion and carrot boys. I know. There's great moments in it. When he runs away and he's like thinking about being a coward and then ends up bawling. Like mm -hmm. that part rocks me. You probably don't remember. It's a long no, time. No, no, ago, no. I, yeah. I do remember that. And like, I, I think that could be a thing they could do in like yeah. 20 minutes in an episode. It's like they I meet Usopp. So. He's a coward. He's like, I have 5,000 pirates. Then like there's a guy yeah. with long nails and they're like, that guy sucks. But then there's, it's, oh man, it's the whole it's part. It's going to be, it's going to be, sorry, go on. There's a whole part where Luffy literally cracks like a boat in half and uses it to yeah. fight the cat guy, which is sick. It's going to be so tough. Here's the thing. I don't think it's impossible. I think a lot of people are being like, there's no way they can crush all that. Because they, they have to make a lot of like choices though. Here's the thing. Have you watched Invincible? Yeah. In the Invincible show crushes like a hundred comic issues into like 11 episodes wasn't it 24 it's 11 episodes it's 11 episodes yeah, yeah, yeah it crushes a ton of content and like i think it does it for better and worse <laughs> but invincible the show is incredible still yeah. like and i think part of like what like yeah you can do usopp being a coward in 20 minutes mm -hmm. but what makes it so good is that it's like after seeing him for like 20 chapters like being a coward and then he finally like breaks down it's like no i'm gonna be brave yeah. that hits so much harder than That's like true. 10 minutes of this coward and then all of a sudden he's brave i feel like you could maybe like what if they gave every single one of the characters one episode right so it's five episodes mm -hmm. and then arlong or sanji yeah, that's the thing. Because like, Sanji's is longer, I think. You yeah, have a like lot maybe going give on. Sanji two episodes or something, and then give all. Yeah. So we get Nami, and then we get Arlong Park, and that like yeah. closes out the eight episodes, and then it's on to the Grand Line or something. Yeah, like that. if they're if each episode's like an hour, it's got to be right. There's it no way it's twenty two minutes. No, they they like, don't do live action shit like that. Yeah, uh, what was Cowboy Bebop actually? Cowboy though? Bebop was oh, no. I think it might have been long. Speaking form. of Cowboy oh, Bebop, I still don't have Netflix on my phone, so I can't oh. check. Netflix, you bastard. Poor people shit. Poor um, people shit. That's me, poor people. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> um, totally didn't just get a check for 60K. Chill out. <laughs> no one asked that. You're going to get assassinated. I'm going to like put one, me out of my misery. One of these episodes, you're just going to be like, and that's why I think Netflix should adapt Hunter. No what is this red dot? <laughs> <laughs> like, Listen. I just I'd say aim for the head, please. At yeah. the very least. And it, it's going to be like JFK. Uh, do me better than JFK. <laughs> yeah, please. It's going to be that. Yeah, I'll be grabbing your face <laughs> off the please. thing. It's going to be that. You're going to be like, what is this? That? And then a pause. And I'll be like, so my best boy this week is. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Neutron just licks the blood on the yeah. floor. But um, the thing about Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. And the other worrying thing about this. This looks just like Netflix's Cowboy Bebop. Visually, isn't that weird? People, I feel like we had the same conversation around Cowboy Bebop when we got the trailer where everyone was like, oh, oh, like, because the thing is, like, if any show should have been able to do it, it should have been Cowboy Bebop. It's a space yeah. noir. Yeah. Like, we've no, done I mean, that. It's I, Edge Runner. I mean, like, visually, too. Like, literally, if there's a crossover episode, they wouldn't need to change the visual style of either show do you mean like direction wise like lighting like, like lighting, obviously there's colors, no boats like color wise yeah like camera lens like everything is like like that shot of buggy where it's all fish-eyed and mm. everything's like a weird kind of blur in the background yeah looks identical to shots in cowboy bebop maybe like, that's the cinematography just what it looks like when scene. you try to match the direction of anime like maybe that's like maybe like they both dedicated themselves so hard because what do you think the right approach is for in making a live action? Do you think it's like scene for scene recreation or like do you think it's like we need to adapt these characters so they feel like they exist in the real world? I think it's both. I was going to say with Arlong. Yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to Arlong and it's tough because they have to be real fish. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be opposed to Arlong. Oh, you want a little being, mermaid to fight it? No, no, like being a grit. What What does that even mean? Well, because Flounder in Little Mermaid was like an oh, actual fish and people were very upset. <laughs> it was he was like an actual fish and everyone was like, why would you do this to Flounder? Oh yeah. Yeah. So funny. Um, no, I like I, you can't do this. I, I think you would need to change so much, but I wouldn't totally be opposed to Arlong just being a guy with like gray skin and like a fucked up like chewed up nose and it's like his crew looks like fish you know what i mean like grounding it a little you know who did it correctly yeah. and uh, obviously i don't think that they have the budget for this uh 
Captain Jack Sparrow, uh, Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean? Uh, there was an octopus Captain Man. Oh, what? Yeah, like the most expensive movie of that year. Was like, it actually? Or it's like one of the most expensive movies ever. That CGI still holds up. It's insane. Gorgeous, dude. Though. Pirates Two is like one of the best movies ever. Yeah. Do at me. Yeah, well, like, like, the thing is, it wouldn't have to be nearly as complicated. Yeah. You don't need his tendrils moving. Well, but that's what I'm saying. How would you feel if this trailer came out and like news came out and they were like, "We're going." one piece inspired like it is the characters it's the plot but instead of actual fishmen they are like their story is like his whole crew are like shark attack survivors like they're all chewed up and fucked but they're humans it kind of brings still gum gum fruit yeah but like Wait, it would be interesting but the thing is about the fishmen is that they believe they're the superior like race of people because they can swim yeah. and walk and all that so like i think You'd have to incorporate some kind of superpower in there. Yeah. Like we all got bit by radioactive fish or some yeah. shit, you know? Like I don't I think it's weird, right? Because yeah. it's it's such a fantastical universe that that's not something that's easy to do yeah. with One Piece. It's just tough with the universe that they chose. Like, yeah, like it's sure. like literally like that's and that's everyone's key concern is like yeah. it is the goofiest, most tune like anime universe you could possibly convert. Yeah. You were saying before about how do you go about shooting a live action anime mm. award-winning director here ladies and gentlemen if let anybody, me tell you if anybody's got an opinion on it it should be him let me tell you a little something about yeah. my multiple awards and yeah. my opinions on this because i may not have finished the big three mm. but boy do i have some boy, hard do opinions, you have on opinions. Yep. it goes bleach naruto dragon One Piece. ball oh yeah. damn <laughs> fuck it. no your God. joke's better okay that's way better i'm sorry it I'm goes trying. bleach it's... naruto demon slayer <laughs> that's the ranking big of the three big three confirmed baby um, the big three is an opinion how yeah. dare you tell me otherwise either get with my big three or get with these baby get with my big two i i God, can't keep running laps you're, around you're you here me, dude. you're really. absolutely <laughs> fucking me right now nick I can't, I can't, you're fucking i me. can't do your bit better than God. you i'm sorry anyway first the ai now you <laughs> um i think danny's writer is on strike <laughs> yeah, like fuck <laughs> You're getting way worse content out of me. Um, but I think another distressing part about this trailer, mm. I think these adaptations keep just like ripping anime shit without understanding why it works in the anime. And yeah. here's what I'm talking about. His gum gum pistol looks so cringy and awkward yeah. and not because of the cgi like whatever that's always gonna look whack but it's a stretchy man it's, it's so hard to do it's, stretch it's in CGI. a weird look i didn't tell him to make a one piece live yeah. action like yeah it's gonna be weird regardless but it's like just this static shot on luffy like this medium stable shot no like dynamic movement as he goes gum 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 it's like as awkward as seeing me do that right now. Yeah. Like it's not this like sweeping like close up like it would be in the anime. Mm -hmm. It's just a guy shouting it like in front of a camera on a tripod. Yeah. And I think that's what they get wrong. Like the Cowboy Bebop show would like rip sh uh, shots from the anime mm -hmm. and they don't work because it just looks like like a cosplay photographer exactly. is doing it. Like they're yeah. not copying the energy of it. Yeah. By the way, I want to ask you. Okay. Here's another thing like Buggy that I wonder if it's uh, pissing people off. Mm. There's a line that I kind of love where Luffy goes. You have to call out your final moves. And then yeah. Zoro goes, no, you don't. Yeah. How do you feel about well, Zoro's it, opinion on well, that? Well, the thing is, like, obviously, like, but Zoro does. Zoro like, that, does a ton, but this implies he won't. Yeah, that's this. my thing. Like, I, yeah. like I, but the thing is, like. Zoro doesn't like when he's like just like battling no names like he doesn't like call out like his regular swings he just kills people <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. but like when he's like like onigiri or yeah, like you yeah. know like like bull rush or something like yeah. that or like the spinning thing yeah always calls it out yeah so like I I don't know I also thought that was kind of like tongue-in-cheek it's kind of like a isn't, Aren't it, we cute? isn't it silly <laughs> when anime does that oh yeah. we it's like i don't know it was very it wasn't my favorite line i was yeah. actually gonna say i was gonna bring up that i didn't like yeah, you that didn't line like you cannot yeah. like it fight me on yeah, it. yeah but i was just like it was just so like it's kind of like how you were talking about like making pop culture references the yeah, joke I it was feel, just yeah. like anime does a silly <laughs> thing but this is an anime like i'm just like oh, okay I, I get it like we don't like we have to address the elephant in the room here i here's I, I like your song and dance about it. Yeah. That was a very cute performance. Thank you. I've been practicing my acting. 
I like that Luffy does it. And I get I get what you mean, where it is very like, oh, aren't we? You remember that thing? Mm-hmm. Aren't we clever? But it kind of adds to Luffy's character where he's like like playing this pirate legend before he is one. Yeah. Like he's like he's like, yeah, like if you want to be great, you gotta have attack names. Isn't that hype? Yeah. And like I'm so fine with Zoro not calling him out because all of his moves are just fucking slashing or, his yeah, sword. It's just like a different variation of the amount of swords or the direction yeah. they're going in. If Sanji called out a different dish with every kick, I'd fucking like boycott the show. But that's what he does. I that's know. What he it's does. ridiculous. You oh, wait until you get to uh when you get to Water Seven. Well, I guess it's technically um it's whatever's after Water Seven. I'm forgetting now. Um, if you don't have powers, you don't get to name your attacks. Well, that's, that's my thing. rule. Once he's able to light his foot on fire he gets Diable Jambe he's God. like Diable Jambe and then like every kick is like and I was like bro these are just kicks yeah he's you're just, just kicking a dude you're just kicking the fuck out of somebody yeah. like it's like that's that's all that's happening so yeah overall it looks good like direction yeah. wise looks good set wise looks good casting wise looks good um i just i don't love the acting direction of everybody uh and i think that live action anime shouldn't happen in the first place so like i'm not really the person to ask like i think like i'm like I'm, who is the audience right like is is this for one piece fans to watch yeah. but like every like when i watched cowboy bebop's i was yeah. like i could be watching cowboy bebop and then i did it yeah, yeah um because it was so funny when cowboy bebop's live action came out trending above it yeah. on Netflix was Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop. Bebop and yeah. I was like, is it just like... But everyone's funneling yeah, to the Is good this a lost leader to make people yeah. remember like that this anime is really good? Is it for people who haven't watched One Piece that are like, oh, this is how I get into it? Yeah. That's an incredibly niche amount of people. So I don't know. Live action anime to me has always been like a conundrum. I'm like, who are we doing this for? But overall, I'm going to watch it. Yeah. We're, we're going to watch it. Yeah, we're going to watch it. We'll watch sure. every episode. I think for who is it for, I think these adaptations need to be handled like the last of us where there are changes run by that, HBO with millions of dollars in budget. And some of the biggest names in, in Hollywood. That's what I'm saying. Gotcha. Anyway, I've been Danny Mata yeah. and <laughs> <laughs> get the most beloved man on the earth to play yeah. your main character. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's like the last of us show makes enough changes and the changes they make are like, enhance the yep. story of the game Absolutely. that you can't just abandon it for the game yeah. because you want to see like oh they develop this side character from the game yeah. maybe they'll develop a different side character so there's value to the show mm-hmm. whereas the cowboy bebop one it's like this is that but worse this is yeah uh, have you ever imagined what spikes uh bite spikes Seagal looked like fighting a little like with what a little less training say? spike spike seagal. seagal is it not spike spike spiegel <laughs> it's spike spiegel that's what it you're is you're mixing steven uh, seagal, seagal and spike, spike spiegel. spiegel yeah yeah which would be i want art <laughs> I, want, I was just about to say that'd be fucking sick <laughs> i would love to see him fighting and steven seagal's like lackadaisical absolutely no training style yeah. uh so that's it there was yeah. a trailer go listen to everybody else talk about it for a half hour uh outside of that we also got another netflix thing going on we got the black clover movie which you watched which I is watch. insane to me here's the thing i like caught up with everything like it's i didn't actually catch up i watched this movie and i was like i get it i get it yeah. there's nothing there's nothing i'm missing except black clover is not comp- please ask me any question i took notes okay cool so i was watching this feels like b stars for you this is exciting yeah i took no i took a ton of notes so mm. i first off why my, he's so short <laughs> why <laughs> why why small why he be short yeah um my first note just says opens with a bunch of nonsense um okay do you remember the opening yeah i mean it's like 45 seconds of a bunch of like spell shit yeah (laughs) yeah there was so that was weird i don't know it was funny i don't know if it was supposed to be like symbolic of this being a non-canon i don't know i had no idea what's going on i just liked it but so i'm like keeping up like i recognize all the characters i know you know you know asta you know mimosa yeah i know like all i know fuegoleon like um in the anime i got up until he loses his arm okay that's early i'm like pretty early yeah. episode 30 yeah um but so i recognize all these people uh except for this fucking tokyo ghoul gimp do you know who i'm talking about tokyo ghoul it's a dude gimp. with like a zipper mouth like a leather redhead dude 
Zipper mouth. Oh, yes. who the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is uh, what is his name? Zora. That's Zora. Uh, he is the son of a man who was the first lowborn person to join the magical knights. Uh, he has trap magic, which allows him to like essentially set a bunch of traps around, and, like or like set yeah. a trap up, and if you like hit his trap, it like redirects the magical power back at you. God, gotcha. yeah, that's Zora. I thought was a why. It took me a while to wrap my mind around that, but he yes. looks ridiculous. He's he's a pretty cool character. He's cool. He gets forgotten pretty quickly though. In the movie too, he's yeah. hardly in it. Yeah, he's not there much. Um, I have the other thing that I was like, this is this is different. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have Wizard King Julius is a newsy, I guess. <laughs> is a newsy? Oh, he's like a, he's cap. got a little cap. <laughs> little cap. He's you running were... around like extra, extra. You read all about it. One cent, one cent from a copy. It's how I buy milk for my sickly mother. <laughs> what happened there? What you, happened you're not going to ask the question of why is he a child? That's what I'm asking. Okay. Um. Yeah. He, I'm not asking why he got the hat from. <laughs> he he has to give his life to protect the capital city of the Clover Kingdom. Uh. But because he gives his life, he's also stored 13 years of magic because he's. Okay. Okay. Time magic, so he just brings himself back to life, but only with the thirteen years he's okay. stored. So he's a child now. Is he still Wizard King? He is still Wizard King. Yeah. Got you. Um, okay. But I think they're hiding him. I think like they'll be like, 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 oh, he's on a little trip because I don't think any like I don't think anybody's faith is restored by the fact that there's a child running things. Yeah. Just in the fourteen twelve break. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other thing, the final big change is that. Uh, Oh, oh, I have Noel isn't useless. And then I have an asterisk that says, never mind. What do you mean? <laughs> she does like a big water dragon and then immediately gets fucking trapped. She was battling against the strongest wizard king of all time, you oh, bastard. Oh, that's right. Her her armor is ridiculous. Her armor is hilarious. I have a tattoo of her armor. <laughs> is that her armor? Yeah. That's so funny. It's, uh, well, this is, she does a, um, I love so Noel. She's my favorite character in the entire universe. I know you love Noel. Um, but she has this moment uh, in when they go on, they go underwater to this watered temple. She has like a mermaid version of her, her water Valkyrie she looks armor. Like mermaid man. Exactly. <laughs> um, and so Noel is, I think genuinely probably the best written character in the entire show. Just like, like starts with everything, but isn't able to control it. Dealing with the loss of her mother. You like learn the relationship between her mother and her later on. It's sick. Um, and like, she just like learns how to like use her power. And I thought she was used really well in the movie. I thought she like her battle against like the really like emo, like yeah. edgy wizard Lord, like wizard Lord was sick. Um, but yeah, no big ups to like Noel. <laughs> She's learned a lot since you dropped it. I have one last change and then we'll talk about like the plot and shit. Yeah. Um, so everyone, everyone looked how I remember them looking. There's not really like a lot of redesigns. I know exactly where you're no going. No sign of a time skip mm -hmm. or anything like that. I didn't know that they like recast actors in anime. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck is playing Asuka? <laughs> Who the fuck is this goddamn Giga Chat? You know what's so funny? It took him six months. It took him. There's a six month time skip after they defeat the first de like devil, uh -huh. and it's like Asa comes in flying on his sword. He's like, I learned how to call my sword to myself so I can fly on it now. Same height, fucking huge, ripped. like huge. Six cycles of steroids in six months. He's absolutely fucking huge. Yeah, and also. I'm sick of people being like, I can't believe in this movie, they're still like, oh, the the boy without magic. He fucking flies. <laughs> he, anti, they're like, the, I was born without magic. You were born with anti-magic. Yeah. It's objectively better. You fucking fly, my dude. But this is the same, it's the same argument in Naruto where like, oh, he was born with nothing. And then you realize he's a fucking reincarnation of God. Yeah. And you're like, he was born with everything. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was a child of the woman with, probably the person with the most chakra ever yeah. Kushin Uzumaki uh the fourth Hokaki who killed a thousand people in a war by himself like the best genes and then oh yeah he's the reincarnation of Ashura was not born with everything objectively born with more than anybody in the universe I remember you made a video once about the misconception that Rock Lee doesn't have chakra yeah it's like that too yeah yeah it's like Rock Lee has chakra he just doesn't know how to use it yeah. like like what's well, like Austin but then again Austin not having magic is like also it's like very similar to uh Maki and like uh, her heavenly restriction in JJK, you don't get that. Somebody out there just did. Where like things that would affect him, like because he has magic, doesn't. Like there's a character of the big bulls called Henry, who's like, 
entire thing is he powers the castle. You saw him. Mm -hmm. The guy who took the castle turned into a fucking fighter ship. Yeah, boy did it. Yeah. How about that? That's a, that's also in my happens notes. Happens a couple of times in the manga, that too. That was a fucking ridiculous. Hilarious. What a weird world this is. Yes, uh, there's a whole thing in the manga where it turns into a bull, and it's a mech, and they <laughs> fight people with it. It's yeah. sick. So his whole thing is he absorbs the magic of those around him. Yeah. But, like, so that, like, so, like, Asta gets to be around him. They get to be friends because he can't absorb magic. Yeah. Um... And then also, like, he can't be sensed yeah. by, like, mana sensors because he has no mana. Yeah. So, like, that's the whole thing is, like, like not having magic and having anti-magic, massive boost. Yeah, huge, like, huge. not even close. How And then he's able to coat himself in his anti-magic as yeah. well. So it's it's all it's all absolutely it's, insane. It's nonsense. I'm glad you brought up Henry. Okay. That brings me to a different note. Love it. Um, This show has the worst names I have ever seen. <laughs> Charmy? It's got Asta, yep. Yuno, Great names. Fuego Yami. Leon, cool anime. Mary Leona. Fi- yeah, Mimosa. Nozelle. Cool names. Cool names. Yep. Cool fantasy anime names. Then we have Chester, Sally. Um, the villain's name is Conrad. If you go, that threw me off. That goes like Wizard <laughs> King Conrad. Wizard I was like, King Chester. Yeah, that was. <laughs> what was, the fuck it is was, this? It was a bit. What was the girl's name? Princia? Princia oh, was br- no her name, Princia Funny Bun, full name. It was funny. Full bun. real name. Why did it have to be Funny Bun? What the fuck? <laughs> what is that? What's happening? What happened to these generations of Wizard <laughs> Kings that they were just like, oh yeah, that's a good enough name. Yeah. Sick fight though. Awesome. Her battle awesome. against Mary Leona. That was my favorite part of the whole movie. Uh huh. Mary Leona, I've never met before. Oh, uh, so fucking she, sick. She shows up after Fuegolian loses his arm. It's his, it's his big sister. Yeah. Way more powerful than him. Fucking badass. Yeah. I, I honestly, really good fight. I honestly like. There's. I still have this piece of skin. I kind of want to get her on there. So I. So my notes from this, because obviously I'm caught up. I've with the manga. Um, right. Is that there is no better anime I think that does ensemble better than Black Clover. Okay. Um. I think there's. Like once you, it's obviously in this movie. There's not as much time to shine, right? But like all of the black bulls, you like. It's kind of like, uh, did you ever play Mass Effect? Mm-hmm. I just played Mass Effect Two mm-hmm. when you had to like it was Mass Effect Two's entire Asta plot goes on loyalty missions. Well, exactly. Yeah. The entire plot was <laughs> yeah. like, doing the loyalty missions, and anybody you didn't do the loyalty missions for died. Yeah, and so it was like every single character in the Black Bulls, you know, the backstory of, the motivations of, and the powers of, and it's like it's like it's kind of like MHA. You know, you have like Tod- Todoroki, yeah, and like you know his backstory, like obviously like his relationship with True, Endeavor, but, like Froppy doesn't have, yeah, like, but you no idea what Froppy. Like, even yeah. Uraka, all we know is that like her parents were poor yeah. and she's the main love interest. Yeah. Like Noel, yeah. like, like even True. Henry, like uh, the, the curse user whose name I'm forgetting, all of them have arcs yeah. and like, then they get used appropriately yeah. and that's awesome. Even, but the thing is, it doesn't stop there. Also every captain, you know, their backstory, uh, the wizard King, you know, his backstory, the first wizard King, you know, his backstory. Like it's so good at like being like, this is a character. This is what motivates them. This is their powers. And it was once again, displayed perfectly yeah. in this movie because there's what four wizard kings yeah and like mary leon is fighting one of them the black bulls are fighting one of them like the captains like yami nozel uh are fighting and, another one and of then them Asta's fighting conrad and then yeah and Asta's <laughs> fighting conrad and like it's just like it's so it's such a case study in the like the story doesn't have to like obviously have Asta move the story forward but the story doesn't have to be 1000 about like 1000 percent about him yeah and it's that's why black i think black clover is better than any other anime like naruto one piece bleach anything in that capacity yeah that's very respectable i like that a lot and i you're right i just didn't realize it because i was thinking through like naruto like i don't know dick about kiba or shino like yeah, you know, like Neji, like you get some, especially in canon. In, yeah, in non-canon, in filler, you get to know more about them, yeah. but it's not canon. But they're, it's not canon. They're just like, yeah. oh, we're gonna give you a story about yeah. Shino trying to find a bug yeah. because, like, this bug is really good at tracking. Yeah, and I was like, okay, cool. The like, Kiba, Ten Ten, Neji, Shino were like filler all stars. Yeah, yeah, they just showed up at every time they needed to like pad the stats. No, that's true. I like never considered that. And even in what I saw, Black Clover. Yeah, who's the electric kid? Luck. He has a wild backstory. Yep. That's crazy. I love magma or magna. I magma. hate his power. Mag- mag- magna. Magma. I think with an N. Is it magna? Yeah, it's magna. Is it? Okay, I yeah. hate his power. His power is really dumb. It's well, baseball. Just baseball, baseball, it's fireballs. Dumb, yeah. But he rules. He and gets his a little moment, backstory is good. He gets a moment in the manga that is like 
it's 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 legendary like yeah. he, he gets this like there's like three bad guys that show up the dark triad and he's like i spent six months building this spell and it just like tethers their souls together and like makes them share the magic between them equally uh -huh. so he's like if you have a hundred magic and i have one we now have 51 yeah and then he just fucking bare knuckle boxes this dude that's and hype. wins that's and it's like, it's like this is a side character yeah. winning an incredibly important battle how fucking often does that happen no that's sick i totally agree with you and uh, what's her name? Mary Leona mm -hmm. has. So the whole movie, I'm kind of, it's like, we'll talk about like our review of it or whatever. Yeah. But like, cause I'm interested to hear what you think, especially from like a black clover, like fan, someone who's caught up. Yeah. So like my opinion, I will admit right now, my opinion holds less weight than, as someone who's seen the first 30 episodes. Yeah. Who wears tattooed, like yeah. a tattoo of fucking one of the characters. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but this is some praise. Mm -hmm. So like, the movie, I'm like treating the movie like a my hero, like non canon movie where I'm like, it's action. It's a ton of action, which is great. It's an it's a it's hour all, and 45 minute fight. It's all action, which yeah. is great because a lot of these non canon movies are like boring as so, like, shit. Do you want information about this character yeah. who disappears in 33 minutes? No. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. It's, so it's all action, which is good, but I'm like, this is like, you know, dialogues, whatever. Characters are like not going to do anything that crazy because it's. Yeah, a filler movie. Yeah. Um, Mary Leona has a really great part that gave me chills where like the girl she's fighting, the wizard king she's fighting is like, why are you still doing this? Like you can't win basically. Yeah. And then she has a little flashback of like when she's, I guess like jogging with everybody mm -hmm. and like slows down and like takes a breath and then everyone passes her and they're like, Hey, big sis. Hey, hi. Yeah, yeah. And it shows that they like look up to her and like, respect her as like someone to lean on yeah and then it comes back and i feel like a lesser anime she would be like because everybody respects me and they look on me to lean on yeah but instead she goes because i have grit yeah and i was like let's, let's go go way to fucking like way to show a flashback and then not just explain it way to give two different things that equal a way more of, compelling thing and like a m more fuller like understanding yeah. of a character yeah it was great i was like that was incredible that yeah. was so well done she's the best dude like i think she and like a lot of characters like there's just i, I think black clover also does just an incredible character like just character developments as a whole be they like female or male and you don't mm. see that that often like jjk i feel like is the only other like modern day anime kind of doing that where like the women are singularly motivated outside of the needs of men and yeah. like Mary Leona's just like I train I dip my body in like fucking like mana lava yeah. and I'm gonna kick your goddamn yeah. ass and she fights an ancient demon in the manga and all that and like I'm so excited for the anime to come back and like obviously this is like I, I think this trended at number one on Netflix for like a day or so when I watched it a couple days after it came out it was number three and then I finished it it was number ten but like Damn. still crazy yeah. Yeah. And crazy that it was like, I mean, Extraction 2 came out. Yeah. However, oh, however, could Black Clover stay at number one? You <laughs> How know? could like, it compete? I mean, it's going to be Liam Hemsworth this last movie. So, or yeah. Chris, Hems Chris Hemsworth. That's there. Uh, fucking so many of them. So, so, overall, one out of 10, what do you think? It's like fine. It's like so okay. In terms, yeah. it's like fun. The best part about it is it's all action. Yeah. There's a lot of CG. It doesn't feel. It's not like a Mugen train I didn't, I or like didn't see a any CG. You're out of your mind. Oh, the the knights. The, the knights kni were CG. The knights, the ship. Of course they were. The big ship. Oh, that's always CG, yeah. It, there's a yeah, lot. You're it right. just it didn't feel like a movie. I blacked it all out. Like mo like anime movie standards have gone up really high from mm. like Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer. Yeah. And I get that those are like massive anime. You got to come out. Yeah. Also, this is all we're getting from Black Clover. Black Clover anime ended like 3 years ago. Uh, and well, not end like it's just like Black Clover did the opposite of One Piece it's on hiatus. Well, not even sort of like they did the opposite of One Piece where there were just like 170 episodes straight. There's like four episodes of filler. The pacing is crazy. Like every episode action, and then just like to the point where like the animation wasn't that good for the first hundred episodes. Yeah, and then they just caught the fucking manga. Yeah, so they're just <laughs> waiting for the manga to finish before they they do the anime again because yeah. they want the whole thing to be like action packed wall to wall. Right. Yeah, but I just mean animation quality. It's like. It, I didn't feel like this was a big premium movie or mm -hmm. something like that. Oh, it was straight to streaming. Yeah, but it's like, it's all action, which is good. I wasn't bored. Yeah. Um. Yeah, fine. Like a fine, okay, seven or six. Okay. But yeah, I want to ask like what, like how you feel, how, especially like, because the plot's cool. Yeah. The idea that they're fighting wizard kings from the past is Sick. cool. 
So like, yeah, give me your, give me a good review. I mean, it was very classic, very classic anime non-canon movie where an incredibly powerful item shows up and then it's destroyed at the end. And then it's like, all right, cool. Nothing happened. Um, the sword? Yeah, the yeah. Imperial sword or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I thought that idea was cool. I thought it tying into Lumiere, the first Wizard King was cool. Um, I did like seeing like the powers of like separate Wizard Kings and like the fact that it is a very, that it was like built on a very prominent theme throughout Black Clover. Like it wasn't some like, random hero being thrown in and be like you have to you have to beat this guy it was like racism is like ra like it's more like not it's not even racism it's like classism is huge yeah. in black clover especially the clover kingdom so that being tied in was cool the fights wall to wall very good yeah asta had some of the better swordsmanship moments i've seen in the entire anime slash manga um like he was just like like he was dual wielding like he was like boxing dudes uh Mariliona fight incredible uh good character arc like development for noel i think if any if anybody needed a little bit more shine it was you know but you know it's like not in it which yeah is that's crazy. kind of the black clover experience as like everybody loves you know but like yeah. he's just like not he's not the main character so he's not supposed to like, get the main character shine um 8.8.2 really good i hate your ratings i would watch it again 8.2 i would watch it again easy it's just a ridiculous number <laughs> yeah i'd I, I like to be specific just I, two if, if i get into the yeah it's not an eight is too low okay but at 8.5 i could you know i could go up to 8.5 honestly yeah. i really enjoyed it yeah like i like i thought it was like i had no grievances with it whatsoever yeah like nice. it was like wall-to-wall -wall action um in like good in-universe explanations for everything it was i was happy how's it compared to like a one piece filler movie or a naruto filler movie I, my hero compared to compared to a naruto filler movie way better yeah there's like two good naruto filler movies it's like blood prison uh, and the one where he goes back in time to be with Minato that I'm completely forgetting. That's and then like there's like a Naruto canon movie, The Last, which is fucking yeah. incredible. To yeah, nine point eight. I'd watch it whenever I'm sad. Damn. Um, it's my favorite piece of Naruto content ever created. The only one I've seen is like when they're in the snow and they he discovers Rainbow Chakra. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm talking about? I think that's Blood Prison. I think no. Is that the one with the Akatsuki? No, it's uh, before Akatsuki. Yeah, he like well, just he hardly knows Rasengan. Okay, yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about because there's the Rainbow Rasengan yeah. at the end. Uh, completely forget the name of that one. That one's fine. My Hero Academia filler movies are really good. Uh, the second one was fine. The third one is good. The first one is really good. What? The first one is really good. Wrong order. The second. What, what happens in the first one? Tell me. Like, wait, no, wait. Because I think you don't one, know. Which is the one where Bakugo also gets one for all? That's two. Okay, that one is really good. Yeah, there it that is. That one is really that good. That one's way better. First, first one was fine. First one's nonsense. It's Third just Deku and All Might like doing a smash together against a big like tech monster. That one was good though. That's the one where All Might hits a lat spread and speeds up. That was <laughs> sick. That was one of the sickest moments in anime <laughs> history, dude. He just lat spreads and fucking flings himself forward. Third one was also pretty good. So My Hero Academia does really good ones. Um, one Piece has a bunch, yeah. but the most recent one was Red, which was yeah. fucking incredible. Wow, the soundtrack I never is saw Red. so good. Damn, that's so good. It was it was like uh, also like we got to see like Shanks's bounty and his Shanks's daughter and all that. It was like yeah, it was just like a it was like a fan it was like a fan fiction for like all of the One Piece fans. Right. So yeah, it was good. Go watch it if you haven't yet. It's on Netflix. It's easy unless Netflix kicked you off, in which case fuck them. Yeah. It's uh, hard. Last thing. Demon Slayer finale. Oh my god, what a big episode! So this is. fuck it, forty-five minutes. God, yeah, insane. Nezuko yeah. conquers the sun. Yeah, uh, becomes number one on Muzan's shit list. Yeah, I listen. I am your anime only. Yeah, with genuine reaction to Nezuko like burning up and kicking Tanjiro off her. Furious. Were you like? Re was, were you like? She's gone. I was like, she. I can't believe that she's doing this right now. She, yeah, I wasn't at first. And then they do a little montage of like all of her moments. It's and like her like, tiny on Mugen train. Like, oh, she's fucking dead. I'm like, what is this? What are you doing? What yeah. are we doing? Like, it's just the way it's framed was very convincing until yeah. until he's like, she's nothing like even her bones are gone. And yeah. I'm like, she's alive. Yeah. No like, body, no death. Like exactly. no chance. But that. Yeah, that ending's gorgeous. We got to see a Demon Slayer fight in the daytime, which is yeah. hype. Crazy. Um, Tanjiro doing there's a great shot like iconic this is the most iconic bit in all of demon slayer for mm -hmm. me more than set your heart ablaze more than uh tanjiro's first hinokami kagura and more than zenitsu's fucking thunderclap mm -hmm. i think the shot of tanjiro cutting through the demon 
uh, and then tiny him going, and then yeah. big Tanjiro. He's like, like atone for your sins. When you alive, dude? So good. Like Chills. big because it like switches the power dynamic. Because Hung Tengu was like big before and yeah. like had Tanjiro by the balls, mm -hmm. and then now Tanjiro's huge and yeah. just like full of rage. That was great. It was that sick. was incredible. I love Tanjiro learning thunder breathing. That was hype. So. I do you want me to explain because a lot of people and I, I kind of want to explain why he was able to do that because I'm getting a lot of people asking me why he was able to do that. It's not that I he, get it. Do you? Yeah. You think he just learned thunderclap and flash? Yeah. Okay. It's because the, here's the thing. Okay. Can I give my explanation? Absolutely. This is Daniel D. Mata, um, explainer yeah. of all things anime. Thank you. My name is Socrates Mata yes. and I am correct. This is him expounding his opinions. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. What's the only thing good about Demon Slayer's power system? Simple. It's simple yep. and it's just like Swords. stances, essentially. Yeah. Like it's essentially just like a way to fight. Lightning it's, breathing is just EI jutsu. It's like pulling your sword out of your sheath really quickly. Well, exactly. It's like it's just a technique. Like it's the difference between like jujitsu and like Muay Thai. I was I was I was hoping you were gonna find a second martial arts and I was worried you weren't. <laughs> I, was I like, was so close yeah. to saying Brazilian yeah. Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> it's it's the difference between Brazilian jujitsu and Brazilian waxing. Yeah. Um, but like, but it's essentially right because it's the powers aren't real. Yeah. Um, it's exaggerated. And so I like the idea. I think people, and you're probably going to prove me wrong, Okay. but people being like, that's so, d how, how can he just do lightning breathing? Mm -hmm. I think that's dumb because it's not the same as Goku all of a sudden just doing big bang attack. Yeah. Because that doesn't make sense. That, that requires it, like chi and yeah, you know, training it, and it all that. It requires yeah. a bunch of nonsense. This is literally like, um, Tanjiro has seen Zenitsu do this form. Mm -hmm. He's heard Zenitsu explain what it's like. Mm -hmm. And so it makes sense to me that Tanjiro can do that from, it's like, to me, it's like if, you for whatever reason i've seen you put people in a triangle hold yeah for like 30 times and then i'm in a fight and i'm like what's that thing nick does it's and funny, then i do it it's funny that he's bringing this up because i was the last time he was here i was trying you to put, put I was, neutron yeah, I was trying, to put new, trying to put neutron in a triangle hold, and <laughs> i was like i could get one pot through and then boom i locked him up so bad yeah neutron that didn't stand a chance yeah, i do tap i locked him up so bad dude um fucking but like does that make sense yeah yeah. Well, so it, do, it does sort of. Uh, but the, the reason that he's able to learn thunderclap and flash is because sudden breathing is the base of all breathing styles. So every breathing style ever was created because, like Yoruichi Suchikuni, the like the original this is Demon such Slayer. A spoiler. I'm about to be so pissed. No, it's just like it's not even it's not even that much of a spoiler. Okay. It's just like oh, the explanation of how the power system works. So he was like, it's so hard to learn sun breathing because it's like the best breathing. So every other person who trained with Yoruichi Sujikuni had to like adapt sun breathing to their own style. Yeah. So sun breathing has 13 forms and every single one of the forms is reminiscent of one of the breathing styles. Yeah. So like once you know all 13 forms of sun breathing, one of them is essentially thunderclap and flash. Got you. It's like a super quick EI jutsu slash. I hate that Tanjiro is slowly becoming like the chosen one. Like I hate the sun breathing is like the, the best one. And I hate that like Nezuko is like a special demon. You, you won't feel that way forever. Okay. I just want you like, I want like, like your expectations need to be set. Like he will not like there. It definitely trends towards that way. He's like, I'm a sun breather. I'm He's the best getting plot armory. Well, I guess. The problem. Just so like, absolutely. And Nezuko's like jeans, like constantly like changing is like kind of like, but like at the same time, like she was able to break out of Muzan's grip by herself. Like and her conquering the sun is kind of hand wavy. Yeah. It's a little hand wavy. They're like, Oh, she did it. You yeah. know? And it's cause her jeans are like her jeans are constantly like updating. Uh -huh. Um, and like we just kind of get like the um the, what is it Lady Tamio writing the letter there being like the man in Asakusa who turned into a demon is now no longer and yeah. like like regained his sense of self now yeah. because of her genes and he's just like so I think she'll conquer the sun or something and it's like that's okay Whatever. like chosen family yeah. very much so it is it is a bit weird by the end you will not feel like he is All right. the chosen one that's good yeah then because he suppose. like 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 Demon Slayer obviously like like. Is Tanjiro going to be the last one to take the last swing? 
sort of most of the time, you know, like he's yeah. just, he's got to be the one to finish it off. But like, yeah. obviously you saw Moishiro beat Gyoko. Yeah. And like that, it stays that like the Hashiro get much more involved yeah. in the Infinity Castle gotcha. arc. And like, it's very clear and evident that Tanjiro is not the most powerful person. Okay. I, I dig that. Yeah. I like, I like Genya just like, I like us. I don't like it actually. Period. Love a man with a shotgun. He's yeah. Genya's great. Yeah. But like, we learn like nothing about him. Like we don't know anime only watchers pretty much don't know why he's like half demon. Except, never explained. Except never. It's never. I, I want you to know it's never explained. He go. He says one line. Mm -hmm. He goes because uh, her flames affect him. Mm -hmm. And he goes, oh, they're affecting me because I've been eating demon flesh. Yeah. <laughs> that's so his, what? his powers allow him to what, eat Kenya? yeah his powers allow him to eat demon flesh and then he gains the abilities of well, not like oh i thought that's why he's a demon like he's been eating demon flesh and that's how he became half demon yeah but he he only like it's like he eats a piece of demon and he'll become a demon for like a little bit and then it goes away it's like a wow. temporary it's like a shot you know yeah. and then he's like D i'm demon and the stronger the demon he eats the like a the, the longer it lasts and the stronger he becomes that's dope so eventually he eats so many demons he gets his own dead um his own blood demon art gotcha yeah it's sick it just manifests on his shotgun it's that's dope. sweet that's it's super so cool. sick so yeah that was really good um really like kind of like a flying fuck you to everybody who was like demon slayer is mid because that episode was gorgeous that episode's great the one previous was good like when he does the thunderclap and flash yeah it's where do you rank the season? Oh, it's it's uh, it's worse than Entertainment District arc, obviously. For sure. Better than the first season, though, I'd say. Agreed. Where's Mugen Train go? Technically, a season. Mm, seven episodes. Uh, Mugen Train. You, under you're so like. Just think of your feelings. Just your emotions. Yeah. Don't, you, don't think about the not length. Everything, of not it. everything goes up here. Yeah. Like, uh, Mugen Train under Entertainment District arc. That's the best arc, I would yeah. say. It's yeah. it's bar none. Uh, Mugen Train this season, yeah. first season. I would I, say. I'm like the exact same, same ranking. I'd say there's like more of a gap between this season and Mugen Train than there is Mugen Train and uh, Entertainment District. Mm -hmm. Like I think Mugen Train and Entertainment District are like near comparable. Like Entertainment District's definitely better than Mugen Train, but yeah. like it's not a huge margin. I think this one is like there are flaws that are like immediately available like the pacing's weird like having it be like two separate demon fights mm -hmm. doesn't yeah. work and then super like you, well. you, we cut away from mitsuri for so long and the only time we cut back to her is like when she's about to die mitsuri like is hardly in it tokido's in it but i feel like i learn not enough about him yeah uh and genya's like not in it at all no, well, that's the thing is like Genya, Genya, Genya plays a really big role later down the line. Yeah. This is kind of like his introduction as a character. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And Tokido survives, like Mitsuri survives. So I'm fine with this being like their intro. But mm -hmm. just as like, yeah, episode to episode, it was less like hype than like Entertainment District. Where oh, for sure. I was sure. like, I need the next one out. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's all the big news covered, um, which Sorry. brings me and Danny to our game for the day, which is going to be a draft. draft. And that draft is going to be the best side characters in anime. So obviously, Danny went first last week, which means I go first this week, which is big for me. Yeah. Because at the number one, only because I know you will think of him and you will try to take him, Vegeta. Ha! You fool. What? You fool. Vegeta's a great choice. I'm looking at his statue right wow. now. Wow. You that is a great choice. Absolutely. I agree. 100%. That's the number one draft if ever there was one. I got real nervous. You were gonna say a no ske. Give me a no ske. A no ske and one. A no ske one. Oh my god, you're absolutely insane. I can't believe he's still on the board here. Um, but I'll take Sasuke at two. Yeah. I listen, I don't want to take him. He's not I a kid I say, enjoy. I thought you hate Sasuke. Not a kid I enjoy, but you better believe this is gonna win me some points with the voters. Okay, fine. Kakashi's mine then. Kakashi. Taking Kakashi. It's a good side character uh -huh. choice. All right, all right. Uh not sticking to Naruto, switching it up here. The man that Sasuke was based off of. Oh. Taking Hie. From you don't know Hie? No, what is that? Hie from Yu Yu Hakusho? Oh. Absolute ugh. menace to society. <laughs> One of the coolest outfits in the game. You're showing your age, old man. Oh, yeah, that's me. Uh -huh. hey, Yu Yu needs a remake, man. All right, who's your third pick there? Levi Ackerman. Levi Ackerman. You're just upset because when we posted the hottest <laughs> men, everybody said Levi should have been in it. Um, listen, I went indie picks last time. I'm taking the gold this time. Oh, I'm you're going all You're taking the gold I'm this going time. all mainstream. All right, number four for me. Once again, can't believe he's still on the board. 
Sticking with Tagashi, Kilowa. Okay. Easy. Fair. Uh, Fair. Two I, from Tagashi is the easiest decision I've ever made in my life. That's going to give you a lot. That's going to give you a lot of points. Not as much as L, though. L? L. Boom. Wild. Boom. What do you L. mean wild? No, I like it. I like it. Yeah. It's a good choice. Sweeping kicks, uh, you know, like you to got, sit weird. Here's what's good about Vegeta and what's good about L. Borderline main characters. They're cheat picks. That's fair. Yeah. But L does die. And you know who doesn't die? Who? Um, Renji. From? From Bleach. Oh. I was I was going to go Renji or Iryu. Iryu? Give, give me an explanation of what Renji looks like. Is Renji's he bald? Red, Is he hair? red hair. Okay, Little, red hair, red hair. Yeah, you got the wiggity yeah. waggities and a yeah. big old blade. Renji, Thousand Year Blood War arc, iconic. Borderline yeah. main character action, yeah. Bam, boom. Boom and bam. Who's your last character? Going back to Naruto, Rock Lee. Rock, two from Naruto and yeah. neither is Sasuke. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm feeling confident. No oh way my goodness. Sasuke is beating Rock Lee and Kakashi. Listen, and I agree with you. Rock Lee and Kakashi are better choices. Yeah. Absolutely. But I, like, you got to think, Kakashi, yes. I think I got People the fan love vote him. with that. But like, I, as am I, am I going against my true nature here, swaying with Sasuke? Yeah, but I'm selling out. I'm wow. selling out. Do I do I want him on my team? No. Can I, can I, I cannot like, deny your the kids got pulled your hipster picks are gonna get you fucked dude you think so i think i think your yu yu Hakusho guy does not beat levi i think your bleach pick does not beat rock lee you listen at uh, sure you're getting you're getting the young kids yeah 13 to 18 yeah gonna who's love on tiktok that's good that's good boom point. that's a good point Let old people are on tiktok <laughs> too i got 35 year olds on tiktok <laughs> old understand. people old 35. people yeah that's it's geriatric oh You're, boy you, you lost them now <laughs> yeah i know right <laughs> please please you you is very good uh okay so outside of that we have our best boy for the week yep do you have a best boy um my best boy would have to be um yeah it's uh yeah uh-huh i uh you got anime news a lot though. happened yeah a lot so many things yeah um I'll do Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer as a whole. I'll do Tanjiro. Tanjiro is your best boy. Yeah. For because Thunderclap and Slash was, was sick. so good. <laughs> and he was willing to let his sister die to save three NPCs. Yeah, that was so hype. Mm -hmm. I loved the Thunderclap bit. It was sick. I that he this was the season of fusion techniques, and I love fusion. Like that's my favorite anime trope. Explain this Thunderclap and Slash yep. fusion technique because he uses it to close distance. Then Hinokami Kagurai naturally awesome. Nezuko gives him a blood demon sword. Oh, that was sick. Yeah, the red Nichiren blade. Yeah. Yep. I know this won't happen mm -hmm. because you've just explained that sun breathing is the reason he gets to do the thunderclap. Yeah. But I would love to see more combination shit. I want to see like flame breathing with beast breathing. You know what I mean? Like a flaming Anosuke. That would be sick. I Trained would... in both things. Mitsuri, it's kind of funny that Mitsuri is like your closest chance there because she knows love breathing and flame breathing. I would just love, that's hype. Like I yeah. just want more combinations. And you know what? I think if they do another Demon Slayer video game, mm -hmm. that's what they should do. Just fusion dances? Because they will get, not, not like the characters. Could but you like, imagine though? That'd be hype. Because it's be like sweet. you get like half of the movesets of both. It's like completely random. It's like that Pokemon yeah. game where you can smash Pokemon together. Yeah. That's what I want. That'd be sweet. But like the Naruto uh, games have like fusion techniques mm -hmm. that aren't like anime canon where it's like, you know. Oh, yeah. Like, the fine. Like the, the finishers. Yeah. You know, the, like finishers. the ultimates. Yeah, yeah. They'll mix shit. That when you get like all the Hokage together, like, so like, all, like all of Team like, 7, it's sick. Sasuke Susano will have like a big crossbow with like uh, a Rasengan like around it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like those, those are super sick. My best boy is me. Because I got us tickets to Anime Expo through Viz. So you, oh, whoa. Yeah, I'm so, so sorry. You're welcome. This poor dog. Yeah, I've secured wow. tickets for not only us, but also our cameramen. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. Big Buzzer ups to this guy. Buzzer yeah, no. beater. Viz literally just emailed me. They're like, we can't get you exhibitor badges, but we can get you four-day badges. And I was like, hit me up. That's Which like is, the same thing. What's the difference? Uh, exhibitor badge, you get like skip lines and shit. You just whatever. get to be like, I'm important. Let me through. It's kind of oh, nice. Whatever. It's, it's very nice. I'm like nowhere confident enough to do that. I'm going in a nuck tuck cosplay what the fuck is a nuck talk? remember bolin when he was a oh, movie star yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's got like tiny shorts and like a fur thing yeah that that's gonna be sick I, people I are gonna think you're craving the hunter that's I oh people, day one i go as nuck tuck day two splash some blood on me i'm craving, craving the hunter yeah. that's me i'm the guy who married a 70 year old yeah exactly. i forget his name aaron taylor nope that's a woman aaron taylor johnson hey, is that his name yeah okay yeah i was close yeah i was very close yeah yeah let's go yeah. me you meant anya taylor joy at first i meant yeah, very yeah. close names though. yeah, yeah. like both close. three namers with taylor in the middle do you want to know my flashback um 
By, well, you want to know my news? We have to bloop. Okay, I have news. Okay. And you, you have to promise. Look at me. You have to promise you're not mad. Okay. You have to promise me you're not going to be mad about it. Okay. You're right. I promise. You promised? I promise Pinky to pr try. Pinky promise? I not promise mad? to try oh. not to be mad. Okay. Um, Toff's voice actress is coming on the show next week. <laughs> are you? Are I'm you, livid. Are I'm mad. furious. Are you, I can't believe that that's happened. So we have so much preparation to do. Oh, yeah. We are not ready for Toph to be here. If it if it means anything, have to you. you seen the podcast she's on? They're so chill. <laughs> They're so cool and calm. Look at this desk. If, if it means one, we'll get we'll cover this. We'll, we'll look we have two mics. <laughs> So, so the reason I'm telling you, uh, uh it was going to be a surprise. If I showed up and she was here, I'd actually have diarrhea. I would shit all over. I'd shit all over that you would, I'm you would be. <laughs> so, this so, is the podcast that we do. So, I talk about shitting in front of Toth. So so there there's earth and shit, right? Do you think do you think you could bend it? If I shit right now, could you bend it? <laughs> Hi Toph. Remember me from Ant-Man? We're just throwing shit at her like can you see can you use seismic stats? Oh so, How did this happen? Uh, How did the betrayal? I, you move in like three weeks. I, that's all I, I wanted. I, 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 people have been yelling at me. Uh, I got pressured into DMing her. Uh, I DMed her. Very nice lady. I know. Told, told her I knew you. She was like, he was lovely. And I was like, we do a podcast. She's going to be like, why didn't you invite me? And I'm going to be like, I was in Bellis. I, 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 I might have buried the lead on that one a little bit. Uh, so we'll cover this. We'll get a third mic. Uh, we have a third mic, technically. Uh, we just need to get a longer cord for it. We could also get a third Go XLR mic, which which means another boom arm. Is it? Would or it be, you guys could share a mic. Would it, you know? No. No. Would it be weird? <laughs> would it be, no. Would it be weird or charming to be like to show up in like a suit and be and like if my whole shtick is like. If she's like, why, like, why, yeah, why didn't you invite me? Like, we've DM'd, and I'm like, because you're cool. Because <laughs> like, I thought you were cool. <laughs> Tapping fingers Is together, it, like, I'm sorry, I got nervous. I think that's going to have to be, I'll do a more subdued version, but that might be the angle I have to play. I like that a lot for you. So maybe we just don't give you a mic. <laughs> we just <laughs> use our second mic on her. She's like, she's over in the you're corner of the desk, here. and she's like, yeah, you know, it was great working with that cast. They're all very talented, and I like... Like crawl over her and I'm like, Wow, well, is it like working with Saka? <laughs> so are you are you you're looking forward to the new projects, right? What are we gonna ask her? A I, week's not so, enough time. So this is this is why I'm telling you. This is why I'm telling you, because I was like, I could spring it on him, but then he would have no questions. We have to do this like a real guest well, interview. Remember like, when Jose like kicked in the door yeah. and like I was like, ah, we like loaded guns and everything. I kind of wanted her to do that, but like your reaction would have been so genuine, it would have been fucking hilarious. Because <laughs> you would have cried. You I would have been so upset. And Dorothy was like, set up a third mic. Like she be, uh, she'd be like, he'll be curious about like a third seat. And I'd be like, all right, we'll figure it out. I'd be like, I'll be like, oh, we just like we're preparing for somebody coming next week or something. Wow. Yeah. So you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you I have like, one week to prepare. I, my like life is flashing before my eyes, as if that happened. I think we can. I think we can set up a third mic pretty easily. I don't know. It's, it's gonna, gonna cost be... a couple hundred dollars, but we can do it. We have to figure out where she's like sitting. Right here, right in between us. I know. We'll switch your boom arm to over there. We'll be happy. In the corner, she gets a corner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she'll love it. That's where all the titties are. She's gonna love I it. I hate this. <laughs> we gotta get a tablecloth. It's a shame that our, our we haven't gotten our. She's uh, gonna be like, why is there this doily tablecloth? <laughs> why do you have happy oh. birthday on? Oh what? no. <laughs> why do you have three dollar Walmart tablecloths? Wow. Yeah. So big things coming up for the pod. Happy or not mad? Wow. Happy or not? Who said that? Happy. Or, <laughs> Who said that? I wasn't I'm mad. so happy you've forgiven me. <laughs> wow. Listen, the viewers will forgive me. That's all that matters. Oh. <laughs> yep. So, wow. your news? We got a train. Your, your news? Chainsaw Man may be getting a movie. I can't believe that you would do this to me. 
<laughs> we have to do this. This like has to so like with Jose, it was just our pod with Jose on yep. it. This has to be like a tough episode. We need to. It's I, all about like just a whole my, Avatar episode. I've had nightmares of like if you've done this and you're just like I'm just like. Oh, so Toph, what was like doing this? And you're like, oh yeah. Anyway, Toph, um, shut, Demon Slayer is getting the fuck a new movie. <laughs> like, have you seen the? Have you seen the? Have you seen the Demon Slayer finale? You have it. We're gonna talk about it for a half yeah. hour. <laughs> like, like, well, that's what we used to do on the Weeb Weekly. Is like we would just have people on, and then we would just run the pod with them there. It was. So <laughs> you're fucking, not reassuring so me. It was so dumb. Look, I know you have social skills, yeah. but in all of my nightmares, I'm like, what if Nick just steamrolls <laughs> over all this? It's like, I don't I don't get why people don't call me. Like, I don't can you shut can you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to talk. Let, I, let, yeah. Get out. So today's draft, um five biggest busts. Now I have the measurements, but do you want to guess, Toph? Today's today's uh, draft, our favorite underage girls in anime. You you want God. do you want to start? Do we you, like can't be this volume. Oh my god, I have to change everything about myself. <laughs> I can't look like this. We can't be this volume. There's like six pairs of slippers in this room. I'm we so, have to clean. I, I'm we, coming on Monday we and we're do. cleaning. I recommend you get here a few hours early. We'll <laughs> set up the mics. We'll all be good. <sighs> <laughs> so, and then Chainsaw Man's getting a movie. It's time for love letters. This is the uh, this is the part of the show where the live audience gets to ask us a question and we answer it. Uh, and then we make a little TikTok out of it and everybody's happy. So if you ever want to be the person to ask us a question, become a member on YouTube. You can be either join Team Nick or Team Danny for $4.99 or $5.99 respectively a month. And you get to interact with us while you get to watch Danny lose his mind. You get to watch Neutron stumble into the room as he tries to find space on a bed next to Wagyu. Uh, or... Or you just get to watch me and Danny poorly run a podcast. But Thanks, that Stretch. is what you get being a YouTube member. And I'm doing this spiel so the live audience knows it's time for love letters and have time to get theirs out. I'm going to go check. Sed asks, if you could have any pet or animal from the anime world, what would you choose? I don't know, like a turtwig. I, I, I'd like to put for context here because, Danny, this is probably going to be going on TikTok. I just told Danny that we're going to have Toff's voice actress on the show next week, and he is not ready for that. A turtwig. Like a turtwig. So <laughs> so like, so like one day it could turn into Tortega? Tor, tor, what was its final? Torterra. Torterra? Yeah. Because it's like the size of a mountain? No, probably like a Pokemon. Like a... Uh... Yeah, like a Bulbasaur. No. Oh, God. I don't want a Venusaur. Of in my all house. of the Pokemon you could choose, you choose Bulbasaur? I want Squirtle. Squirtle's final answer. Why? Squirtle rules. Blastoise you could have rules. Deoxys. You could have. You could have. Oh, what a fun pet, the like, god of interdimensional species. That is. would be sick. <laughs> what, imagine all, all, the, all the things you could accomplish. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Bulbasaur is cool, but he's lettuce. He's walking lettuce. That's not a pet. That's like being like, what pet do you want? King Kong? That's not fun. That'd be fun. As, uh, you kidding? Where do you keep him? On top of the Eiffel Tower. I don't know. He <laughs> likes to climb things. Yeah. If Godzilla ever shows up, at least I'm protected. I have to assume you're going to get like the fattest monster tax put on that. Like, oh, yeah. You're definitely paying a hefty amount. Also, imagine feeding yeah, King Kong. Yeah, you feed that guy? Oh, my God. I just give my guy like, like turtle food. Thousands of fish. That's okay. If I had to choose an anime, yeah. uh, animal, or pet, uh, Nina Tucker. That's who I'm going with. That's the final, final answer. Nina Tucker. Because who doesn't want a dog who can talk? Uh, that's, that's, I got two dogs. Neither of them can talk. Neither of them have hair. So, final answer. This has been the worst episode I've ever had to participate in. Had to participate in. Nina Tucker. I can't, I can't wait to be sick for the next, next 11 Thursdays. <laughs> well, I, well, I. Denny's not showing up next week. This wow. has been it. All right. So that's been Utaka's Anonymous. I'm Nicholas Connor, also known as NC Hammer 23, the Weep Commander. <laughs> uh, if you guys want to follow any of our short form content, follow us over on Instagram or TikTok. If you want to ask us any questions, email us at Otaku's Anonymous Pod at gmail.com. Follow us at Taco Anon on Twitter. Uh, Daniel, I think you'd like to say to the crowd? <laughs> I'm Danny Mata. <laughs> um,. God, this is what I'm going to be like next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is D D D I'm Daniel. Nice to... Why are your hands so wet? Tough to watch it. All right. And that's going to do it for us. Goodbye, everyone. We'll see you next week for the biggest episode we've ever recorded. Bye. Bye. Uh.